Hi guys, I'm gonna share with you today how I make my BLT dip. Okay, so again, I do not really measure things. I really apologize about that. I'll try and guess my best for you um, but this is something that I have made for like four or five parties now and every single time people are like oh my gosh what's that recipe I need that recipe it tastes delicious this gotta be hard to make and I'm like no it's actually like really easy so first of all um, let's talk about bacon because bacon is the part of the BLT that is amazing so uh, and I will go ahead and post my um, other video here in the link for how to cook bacon, the best way to cook bacon. I have two ways that I like to cook it. So I'll go ahead and link that and you can go ahead and see how I do that. But I cook up my bacon and I set that aside. That's like the hardest part, you know, the hardest part is to cook bacon. I like that. Uh, then I'm gonna get just like a casserole dish and I'm gonna put a brick of cream cheese in there. I kind of like to let it sit out as I'm doing everything else so that it gets a little soft and I can, And then I'm gonna take um, some mayonnaise. I'm gonna go ahead and guess, maybe a half a cup. <laughs> Guessing, guess and check. Half a cup of mayonnaise, add that in there. Um, at this point, I'm going to add a eight ounce container of sour cream. I do know that because I know that it's not the big one. So add some sour cream in there. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. Just mix those in. A little secret that I like to do, I really like to mix in my Trader Joe's Everything Bagel Spice in there. I will go ahead and link that too. I love adding that. I add it to a lot of my recipes and I feel like that flavor, that little extra kick is just so perfect. So I'll add that in the link below as well. I'm just gonna mix those bad boys up, mix it up. And I'm gonna take my bacon and I'm gonna take maybe two thirds of it, crumble it up, add that in my mixture. Take a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, dump it in. Give it another mix, flatten that baby out in the casserole dish. And so here's the thing with BLT dip. You can eat it warm, you can eat it cold. I know this because I've done it both ways. Here's where the next step gets a little bit wild. So take some lettuce, romaine lettuce, just shred it up and you know, kind of into little shreds and you're gonna just put it on the top as a light layer, a light layer of lettuce shredded up on the top. At that point, I take one tomato, cut it up, and I wanna put half with tomato. Why? Because my husband doesn't like tomatoes. So I like to do half and half for him. If you wanna put it on the whole thing, go ahead. But I do half tomato on my casserole. Take the rest of my bacon, and I'm gonna crumble it and put it over the entire top. That is your delicious BLT dip. Now, you can have it cold. It's delicious cold, delicious. But I know it sounds weird because it's lettuce and tomato, but I promise you can warm it and mix it all up and make it not so pretty. And it tastes just as good. I know that because I did it. Um, so that is the dip. Now, what are you gonna dip with it? So you can go ahead and do pork rinds. You can go ahead and do cucumbers, which is my personal favorite with this dip. I think cucumbers, the, the taste of this with a cucumber is amazing. You can do celery, green peppers, any um, vegetable really that you wanna dip in this works. Like I said, the pork rinds, if you're wanting something else a little bit crunchy, I will go ahead and link also the recipe to my cheese crisps in here. Uh, you can use those too. Those are great to have as an addition if you don't want to do the pork rinds and you still want something crunchy but still keto friendly. This is a fan favorite this dip everybody loves this dip I've never had anybody not like it very easy you can't really mess it up that's another thing with these measurements and these ingredients it's not really like it's gonna mess up if you put a little bit too much mayonnaise or a little too much cream cheese like once it's all mixed together I know it sounds crazy but it's delicious no matter what it's BLT dip so enjoy this please subscribe to this channel comment below if you tried this I'd love to know what you think let me know if you like this or not. And please make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can keep getting notified when I add recipes, value, and content to this channel here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you really enjoy your BLT dip.